And now, your money masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you uh, being with us. Uh, Market-wise, uh, right out now, we get uh, the Dow down 27, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's a flat, gold's off 22, we get silver down 35, we get bonds down 14, we get a full moon, and we're howling. Oh, man, what a beautiful <laughs> full moon. Gorgeous, huh? right? Oh, yeah. Huge high tides, huge low tides. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and no so, so bright. Came in at about 520 or so this morning. Is that what yeah. it was? Okay. Yeah, okay. you know, but okay. I, I will tell you, at about 2 or 3 o'clock, it was bright. It was, it, bright. It was right overhead right. as far as it, we were concerned. It was, you know? yeah, it was, I know. It comes right up in my back. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought I left the lights on. I, is like, is that the truth? If I got up anyways, looked outside, so oh, yeah. Well, That's you know, you know what's moon. funny? Oh, is that, and folks, the, the moon was so full that on, uh, let's see, what night was it? Uh, Saturday night, Angie and I were coming back from eating, and we, we took the jet ski. Yeah. And what ends up happening, of course, you can't do that, drive that at night. And I says, honey, don't, we don't have to worry about yeah, that because exactly. the, the moon is oh, so I big. Oh, I love it. I love but it. we got back at dusk, but it, 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 it was that, that heavy. Yeah. You know I mean, that nice, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, Absolutely. So uh, it's going market wise going to be interesting out here. I mean, you, you get Europe down uh, still uh, pretty good, but the DAX has already come back two percent. It's down two it's right now. Trading right at its highs right now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's right, it's, it's right, right. at its highs. Look, look you know, it, it it broke that three drive to a bottom pattern. Yes. If anything, that was a shot across the bow that uh, you know. And I was telling folks uh, earlier, especially especially the folks that have got mutual funds, you know, invested in their IRAs. And on, on Friday, I, I, I appeal to everybody, right. please go out and find out what you need to do right. in order to be able to pull the trigger, you know, to go to cash. Whatever you've got to do, understand right. what that is, so that you can you know make that call. And you know, in, in our case here, you know, we're paying attention to the NYSE and as far as breaking the low of that hammer. But the right. DAX is signaling to us That's it's going right. to happen. That's right. Okay, it's absolutely, That's you know, right. it's going to happen. And, you know, we just want folks to be, look, folks may not be able to take advantage of, of, of going long and short, you know, but, uh, or going short for sure, but, but certainly we want them to make sure that they protect their assets. Yeah, having the cash. Yeah. Go to cash. Yeah. Ca ca as you said, cash is position, folks. That's the bottom line. Oh, it is. And in this particular case, you know, uh, like we've been talking about the dollar. I think the dollar just finished its first leg up. You know, I heard you even talking a little bit earlier. Yeah. Um, I thought it had a little bit more room to go. It doesn't yeah. mean it has to get all the way up there, but, yeah. you know, I, I, would, I, I guess at this stage right now, I was expecting if it was going to do it, I, we would see it during the, you know, the morning trading session here. Right. But it seems to pull back just a little bit. So, well, you know, you see, know. it sets up with you know the doll. It sets up with the doll doing a B to C and an ABC up. Right, absolutely. So you get the pullback. That gives a little bit relief for the marketplace. That's right. The, the people think that oh, okay, we're okay. Well, yeah. you know, it's a bounce, folks. Yeah. You know, and the way that you'll understand that it's a bounce, or, or let's say confirm that it's a bounce. It'll be as we attack the other side of the consolidation, yeah. you'll see the volume contract again. Volume contracts, get out of the way. Hey, uh, Absolutely. Michigan and Notre Dame. Oh, what a, what a great game. You know, I mean, I love, I love Saturdays during college football. Yeah. You know, in the first couple of weeks, you know, the games, everybody's, it's mostly warm-up games or whatever. Right. But uh, University of Michigan, that was their first night game ever. Right. Now, what a, what a stadium. 113,000 people. Yeah. Can you believe that? 115,000. Yeah. yeah. Outrageous amount. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and absolutely. And of course, you're a Michigan native. Yes, that's right. That's you know, right. in yeah. fact, I was uh, uh, one of, one of, uh, one of uh, our clients. I was, uh, uh, you know, sending some emails back and forth. Oh, good. And, and, you know, this guy has traveled all around the world, you yeah. know, served, served for us in Korea. Right. And, uh, um, you know, and, and and had gone to college at Michigan. Okay. And so, you know, and I, I, I think I was, sent him an email during the first quarter when Notre Dame was had like 14, 0, 14, 7, something like that. Right. And said, oh, it's not looking good. Folks, it turned out to be one of the best games. In the last minute and 30 seconds or so, Insane. there were three touchdowns scored. I know. You know, I know. Michigan had, ne you know, finally got the lead. Right. Notre Dame comes back, you right. know, breaks their back with 30 seconds to go. Michigan ends up, you know, scoring another touchdown. That's that, you know, when you think about it, when I think about it, because you go on for, you know, the first almost 90% of the entire game. Yes. And then in the last 10%, you've got all the action taking place, right? It was like a that, basketball game. That a, turned into like a basketball yeah, game. Yeah, but it's, yeah. That prevent, it's that prevent defense. To me, yeah. it's, it's all about focus, you know? Right. If what got you there, right. okay, was, was not playing that prevent defense. That's so right. Like, I'm not a coach, but the problem oh, is huge. you no, start I, focusing I on what you don't want I agree. versus what you do want. I, you know, and I... And I 
It's oh, listen to man, me. I think that's I, a change of the psychology of the players. Totally. But you know, I mean, you, you know, that's, these are athletes. Okay, these are machines. These guys are out there, you know, working out eight, nine hours a day, right. going to going to their classes maybe an hour a day or whatever. Right. Have you, right. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you totally change their their thought process. Mm -hmm. And yep. I, I watch it happen all the time, and I I really don't understand it. We when I played hockey, right, I could not stand. If, in fact, you know, you have different coaches, right? Yeah, yeah. And I had one coach that, you know, we were really good, and what would end up happening to have us back off, and I couldn't stand it. Yeah. Because you do change. You, you say, this is crazy, man. You know what I mean? And yeah. then, but the guy that we won the most amount of games with, right? Yeah. It was just, you, it, you'd never let up, ever. And that, that made a difference, because if you don't let up, the bottom line is that you're there, you know, it's a different head game. It's no, it totally is. a different yeah, head yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And I think, if anything, you just, you know, you just simply... You get your team, and now it's you know it's it's getting the okay. You're you're almost there. You know you guys have these guys. You yeah. know no prevent. You know get no, out there. Prevent is living in fear. It is. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah. it is. You're, you're living in fear, and that's, <laughs> folks don't live in fear. You live in yeah, love. Because the bottom line, when you're living in love, bang, you go absolutely. for it. Absolutely. No, no, no. So it's a great game. You know, it, so so good. You know, I, I'm one of these guys that I typically will fall asleep around nine, nine fifteen, nine thirty, right. ten, something like that. The problem is that if I end up taking a nap and I end up staying up past that, all of a sudden I'm awake and I'm bored. All night, yeah. And I'm like, you know, it's now 1.30 in the morning before I'm going to sleep. Right. Yeah. And since you're going to get there's up no at trading. There's no. no trading or anything going no. on, so. That's yeah. a 3.30. Yeah. yeah exactly. Not even any good movies. It, yeah, the movies stink. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, we're paying for cable for nothing. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. A lot. A lot. Yeah, I, a lot. Exactly. Yeah, a lot for exactly. cable. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so so you, you got the full moon coming in, and I know that the the... The full moons are normally pretty good, right? Full I mean, moons are, yeah. Full moons are great. You have to understand the difference between as the market's moving down into a full moon versus okay. the market moving up, because okay. there's, there's a there's a definite uh, difference here. Right. And you know, I started working on my my newsletter uh, sometime uh, maybe late late Friday during the day here. Yes. You know, Saturday and and some yesterday. Now I, I purposely didn't send it out. Uh, until after I watched the uh, markets trade this morning, you okay, know, the currencies right, right. and so forth. But you could see just simply the way that was setting up. I was expecting to see a little bit more pressure than what we saw in the U.S. markets at the, you know, at the open. And, you know, it's only 1014, so we've only been open right. for 45 minutes. Right. But, uh, but the full moon uh, cycle is working. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. You know, right. and, but, but the key is, like you're saying, you know, right now we're just setting up a bounce. And so it's really important to understand and go back and take a look and understand, you know, if this bounce is short-lived, what's the likelihood as far as the least number of days? Right. Okay. And, uh, and folks, you can find out. All you have to do is just go over to to uh, the TFNN website. You subscribe to my newsletter. for That's 30, right. I mean, it doesn't cost you really anything. All you're doing is putting down a credit card for 30 days. And you can see everything out there, and uh, you know, you, you know, plus well, you get, you get the money educate, back. Yeah, That's plus you get an education. So it's you know, it's really the the full moon piece of it was 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 easy. I didn't I didn't focus on that so much uh, in the uh, webcast that I did with uh, the the prior week because we focused on patterns. Yeah, because yeah, we really great. focus on par patterns because what's so cool is we like to use the lunar aspects as really a timing tool. Yes, you know the length. You know, and right. when you can get price, when you get a pattern to sign up. Uh, That's the you know, game. Yeah, and really, if you if you just took a look at the, the euro, you know, and Larry gave us a call on the euro on Friday when yes. we were doing the uh, show, and the euro, which is so cool, made a uh, made you know I use that we use that word perfect, but made it really a perfect Gartley buy pattern uh, this morning when it came down to the low because what happened was is not only did we have you know between a six one eight and a seven seventy percent retracement yes. but you also had a one point six one eight expansion you know of of, uh, of the swing point going back from the uh, may time frame up to the uh, you know the c point on the abc down that it made which was really nice and and then and you knew you were going to you know you were going to attack that area likely because you were coming through with with a couple wide range bars so right. you had the weekend to recharge that's right so i'm not sure exactly but but like you know you and i when we saw each other yesterday Yesterday afternoon, you were right. like, "Oh man, Greece, Greece is going to default." Right. You know, markets right. are going to be wild, and, yeah. and certainly they were. And and you know, Greece, uh, folks, is going to default. This is just the, you know that you know it's amazing is that it, once you do this for a long time, and not, not even not only a long time, and I'm not just talking about the markets. All these corporations, these governments, they all work the same. Yeah. They say, no, no, everything's okay, everything's okay. And then they get people used to it. Then six months later, well, it's maybe not okay. And then about six <laughs> months later, then, well, maybe we have to do something. Yeah. Okay, pay attention to it, folks, though, because you can, you can get to the bottom line, and it's only common sense. That's what it really comes down to. And the common sense in this case, folks, 
is that Greek bonds, the one-year bonds, are paying 111 percent. Well, wow. you, you know what? They're going to default. It's not even close. People don't pay 111 yeah. percent. So if you think you can put your money in there and get your money back out in a year, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You and, know? and what 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 is interesting though is when you think about, you know, if if the focus is that what's causing the volatility in our markets is is just Greece. Right. Okay. Right. Um, that's nothing compared to the other debt that's out there in well, other countries. Okay, I mean that you know that is it, when you talk about potential impacts on marketplaces. That's right. And and what happens is this, and this is folks where there's no doubt that the European banks and and in particular the German banks have huge exposure to the Greek market and yes. to the Italian market, yes, to yes. all those markets. Yes, yes, yes. But this is what you got to remember, is that. When markets, all of those pe people know is accumulate money, go long, and you know hope for the best, and they get their two percent fees or whatever that is. Okay? Right, right, that, right, that's, right, right, that's right, all. Right, right. So what ends up happening is that the contagion is huge because the destruction of asset value, yes, right, goes somewhere that no one's even thinking of. You know what I mean? So the ball starts rolling. Yeah. The ones that are on the hook for it, yeah, right, yeah. are on the hook. But then all of a sudden, you know, they claim our banks aren't on the hook. Well, all of a sudden, our banks have just given Deutsche Bank, yeah. okay, huge amounts of money. Now Deutsche Bank doesn't have the money to pay our banks. Right, so right. that's the contagion that takes place and that's very quick. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, and it be, it's because it, be, it creates that liquidity event. Ex exactly. You know, and, that, exactly. and that, that's those it. liquidity events are so fast and so furious. That's right. You know, uh, Phil was calling, had called earlier and was talking about open interest, you know, on the GLD or whatever. That's right. But these liquidity events, folks, and that's why you've got, that's why you've got to have stops in place. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you know, you've got to understand the money management piece of it. And, uh, and, and like I say, you know, Greece is really small in comparison. You know, if that is the, is that, if that's the, uh, you know what uh, the the wick or what have you that starts the uh, the bomb or what have that's nothing compared to now when I say that you got to also you know like take a look at Japan Japan is worse off I think debt to uh, GDP yeah, you know than anybody but look folks what you got also kind of put this in perspective at some point in time it all does come to a head but uh, Jap Japan's been able to go on for twenty years like this I know okay so know. so so you know it's not something that necessarily happens tomorrow but the volatility because we're in this phase. Because we are so so much in this debt phase, right. uh, you know, our, ourselves, our country, our, you know, because that is such a focus, the volatility is here to stay. Oh, it for, is for for a it while, is. for it a is. good long while. It is, and volatility, folks, is a trader's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about it, man. I mean, it's totally where it's at. Yeah, absolutely. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We do appreciate it. We have the Dow down 16, Nasdaq up two, S and P's are off four, Gold's down 25, Platinum's off 19, uh, Bonds are flat. We're gonna right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments and Newsletters and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Is the fast-moving investment world challenging the way you think about managing risk and return? You don't have to go it alone. 
Direction's alternative strategy funds feature built-in tactical management to help you find clarity for the path ahead. Direction Funds. I'm with X. To learn more about Direction's alternative strategy funds, please visit TFNN.com and click on the Direction Funds banner or call 877-434-9363. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses of the Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information about Direction Funds. The prospectus should be read carefully before investing. To obtain a prospectus, go to DirectionFunds.com. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. The use of leverage by a mutual fund increases the risk to the fund. The more a fund invests in leverage instruments, the more leverage will magnify gains or losses on those investments. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Are you looking for some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. TFNN introduces Tiger TV. Tiger TV brings you video content to help you succeed in the financial markets and beyond. Investors and traders can get in-depth information, news, commentary, and education for investing and trading equities, options, commodities, forex, futures, and more. Just go to TFNN.com and click Tiger TV and select your favorite channel from the carousel on the left. Grab a popcorn and get ready for Tiger TV, a great new service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You get the Dow right now off 66, NASDAQ's flat. You get the S&Ps off 5, gold's down 23, platinum's off 16, bonds are flat out there. Uh, and, you know, for, for Europe being down, uh, they just can't get this baby going. Yeah, no, and, uh, you know, even the, uh, in the U.K., <clears throat> the FTSE. If you just simply go back to their lows from August 9th, just yes. like you know, just like our market, right? You know, and that which is why it's so important, folks, to Look understand that. how the how the markets are trading worldwide. And, right. and really, it's great. You know, if you are a trader out here, you know, you, you really do want to go ahead and make sure that you've got access to the data going on over in Europe because the patterns are similar. You can take a look at what they've done. It makes it a little bit easier to. You know, go ahead and put your trading day together. It's insane, actually. Uh, you know, yeah, because it is. Yeah, you know, because what what I noticed this morning, certainly when I was taking a look and surfing around, was the fact that you know it couldn't even break the six one eight retracement. You know, coming coming all the way back from from the high there, and then the folks, what I'm talking about is the high of fifty four forty nine from uh, September first all the way to the low on August the ninth. Right. You know, and so you know, it just and 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 still hasn't really you know still making right now still making higher lows. And some higher highs. Yes, no, you know, which is which yeah. is what I know both you and I want to do before we pull the big kibosh. That's and, right. Um, so, I, so it is. It, it is really helpful to understand the foreign markets and what's going on. And and inside here. So, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, folks, what you're, what you're looking at now is that you're looking at the FTSE, and then you're looking at that inside the FTSE where the strongest to the weakest. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn That's around. I'm going to turn around and pull up, pull up one of the weakest, which is HSBC. Yeah. Uh, and the reason being is that I want to see, okay, if this is the weakest, well, how weak is it? And, you know, bottom line <laughs> is that it's going to reject its lows. Yeah. You know, you're at 498 euros right now. Yeah. Uh, the low out there is 500 plus uh, 495. Yeah. And In both cases. Yeah. Even, and, even the weakest. And, and it looks like it's going to reject it. So that's the weakest yeah. inside the... The FTSE, which is, which is a big heads up. If we uh, do the same with the DAX, let's go over to the DAX. The, the DAX, you know, you know, it's wild here. The, the DAX, absolutely, there's, they're on the hook for some big, big dollars somehow. 
And it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's good yeah. old Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank, Commercial Bank, Alliance, uh, they're, all, they're all on the hook out here. So Deutsche Bank, folks, has lost half of its value in six weeks. Now, there's, there's if you don't have a stop. You yeah. think half of your value in six weeks, absolutely, okay? Absolutely. You're at 2,187 euros. And now what you have is this. Now, this is what's so cool. So Deutsche Bank, right? It hit a low out here at 2075. Yes. Monster volume, folks. So this isn't over, just as you said earlier, Steve. Okay? Yeah, yeah. This is, the, the DAX is saying flat out, and this is saying flat out. Now, you get, you'll get a bounce out of here, evidently. But looking at this right now, you, we're in monster volume. Yeah. I mean, and, and uh, let's see, they still got, we still got two hours left. Uh, hour, hour left or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bottom line, you know, you're at 18 million. You, you had 22 million up there. You, you're actually, you're actually just coming by. This is another ABC down. Yeah. You get 28.58 is A, 23 is B, the five bucks. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah, which get, no, it just finished it. Now look at that. Oh, okay, it's okay, tw okay. 21 was the A to B equals C to D. So, and it hit 20.78, folks. I love that. Okay? Uh, you, you really do. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. There's, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the banks are, you know, when you take, a, and I know that uh, I had pulled up Goldman Sachs earlier. Yes. You know, just I took a look at a longer term chart, you know, and, and right now, you know, it's really kind of at a critical area because it's got, it's at a Gartley buy range. Uh, which is, uh, you know, because it's made a 1.618 uh, expansion okay. off of its lows from July yeah. of 2010. Then it made a high in January of 2011, and it's come back down. And it's it's really at a critical area, because if it, if it doesn't hold here, and right now it's trading, folks, it's trading at 185. This thing will, like, and, and what's really important to understand really about Goldman Sachs is it's trading at the March 2009 levels. You know, so March 2009. That's my uh, age 25. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, if it, if it doesn't hold here because the banks are in trouble, then what you're looking at, you're looking at it getting back to the $78 area. You know, yep. and 78 folks, that's going to take you, whew, that's going to take you back to November 2008. Oh, man. Then we're in 2011. Yeah. Yeah. No, big numbers, big Absolutely. numbers. Absolutely. What, what is happening is that, you know, Steve and I were just talking, it's, so, it's the technology that's going to bring us forward. I mean, as as usual, folks. Uh, but you know, some of these tech stocks still are looking pretty good. You know, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be <laughs> jumping all over tech. But the the way that these are setting up, uh, you start making a list out there. Well, bottom line is that uh, make sure some of those tech stocks are in there because they're the dynamic uh, and the, the the signs of strength are there. Yeah, yeah. You know? And actually, what's what's cool about the queues, even you know, you can just look at just the the short term, you know, trend line that, yes. that is still held. Yes, and and you know, and I just uh, uh, you know this morning I wasn't sure if we were going to hold it, but it's amazing how this stuff works. It is amazing mm -hmm. how, how how understanding how to utilize the tools inside your trading platform, how helpful that is to you. It's huge. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien, folks, if you do enjoy the program, please tell three people. Make sure everyone knows it. Get on Tiger TV. We're going to be coming right back. Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in the complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading the gold market. If you're an investor in gold or any of the gold mining equities, this newsletter is an essential tool that can help you become a better trader in the gold market. 
The Gold Report comes out every Monday with complete coverage of the entire gold market, including the XAU, HUI, the dollar, the bond, the RAND, more than 40 different mining equities, as well as some of the most popular precious metal ETFs, including the GDX and the SLV. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report that will help you take advantage of investment opportunities at the current historic gold price levels. To order your Gold Report today with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We have the Dow off 7-8. NASDAQ, uh, let's see, is uh, down a point. We have the S&Ps off 6. And, uh, you know, I always talk about uh, markets don't end with volume at highs. Yes. You know, they yes. get tested with lows. Yes. Folks. I'll tell you, you, you have to get your head wrapped around this because this is about the sickest thing, and we've we've had a f quite a few of them. Um, this one here this morning, Broadcom is going to buy NetLogic. Okay. Now NetLogic closed at thirty dollars on Friday. Yeah. It's trading forty-seven dollars and ninety-five cents. <laughs> well, if you look at it, <laughs> bottom line, forty-three dollars and seventy-one cents. That's great. Volume yeah. at a high, yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah. You know, it pulls back. Now, watch how it pulls back, too. You know, you come off the high, and it pulls back with 40 million shares. That seems like a lot. But if you understand how you should be looking at volume, well, you know what? You're going to 47 million. So you're still 20% lighter yeah, yeah, yeah. pulling back. And, uh, you know, the, the cool thing is when you understand volume at highs mm -hmm. is that it it. It allows you to get in at much lower prices, and, and many other folks will say that, no, the market's over, this is over, that is over. Um, and see, in the, in the context of this, that seems like a long way down, right? Right, right, right. But we right, know right, that right. NetLogic started at $7. That was, I bet, I bet that's only a .382 retracement. Let's see what it was. Okay, so if we go from high to low, this is pretty sick. That was a 50% retracement. But 50% retracement, normal retracement. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, bottom line, pretty amazing. It really is. It's yeah, you know, you, when, when you figure that you've got uh, companies with uh, with lots of cash, yes. right, you know, on their balance oh, sheet. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, and look, it's a, it's a number one, we were, we were talking about it, with the dollar moving higher, with people right. now running to the dollar. Right. What's going to happen, especially for the Dow stocks, if you yeah. will, 
okay, it's really going to put pressure on them with regard to how it is that they're going to be able to grow revenues. Because how they've That's been right. able to do it for the last couple of years, folks, is with a lower dollar, they've been able to really export uh, product overseas. Huge. You know, not just labor, if you will, but certainly do you know, nothing export. and make money. Yeah, and, absolutely. And all you got to do is not be in the dollar and you make money. That's right. That, I mean, that, that's the reality. Yeah. And, and they, of course, they had the euros. They had, um, you know, the yen, uh, the franc. I mean, if they whatever company, uh, country they're doing business. That's in. right. Yeah. And now, the, now it's just the opposite. Yeah. So now you think you know acquisitions, okay, are really going to be the way for them to be able to you know have some type of appreciable. You know, yes. income increase, revenue well, did, you know, increase, yeah. and so you know you should see the uh, you should see that you know pick up over time. Now, yes. most folks will go ahead and take a look at that and see, see that as maybe a positive sign, right. okay, with acquisitions. Right. But really, it's almost a defensive play, right. you know, in order for them to try to stabilize their stock and keep it, you know, with a stronger dollar. It's really the only move, you know, that they really can't do because their other move is continuing to cut staff. You know, cut expenses. That's right. Which you know is probably pretty tough to do these days. Folks, inside yeah, you know, a lot of the big corporations. What Steve is bringing up is huge. You know what I've seen? I'm not. I'm not kidding. Over the course of the last thirty years, right? Every time that you see a company, right, yeah. that they turn around and keep making deals and making deals, yeah. they're going down the tubes. Yeah. Right? Most of the time, do you know what I mean? Because we both know what they're looking for is that they're looking for that the, the next sales growth, and so they get it on their books. But it's, they're actually sliding down the whole time. Yeah. As long as they can keep making the deal, it looks like that the sales growth going up. And what you don't know is every company they're buying, how much, how slippery are their that, books? For sure, for Isn't sure. Isn't that wild though? No, I mean, no, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. really, you know, it's 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 the role of the CEO, yes. right, to continue to build shareholder short shareholder value. Right. And so when you know that you know you're taking a look at a stronger dollar, yes. that's going on out there. Right. That uh, you know your options are really limited. Okay. With regard, you know, you've you've got you've got to start looking at how you're going to go ahead and put that cash to uh, work and That's, start making deals out there. Oh, big time, yeah. man! Big time. It's going to be interesting, man. Particularly, you know, uh, between that Wall Street Journal, I got to get that article. I got to I'm going to frame oh, that yeah, article. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the one. Yeah, and what yeah, it was, yeah, folks, yeah. is that I think it was last Saturday, Wall Street Journal full page. It was a full page headlines: How to make money from the following dollar, the falling dollar. And of course, folks, last week the dollar went up about ten percent. <laughs> 10%, folks, is millions of dollars. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We have the Dow off 71, NASDAQ down 1, S&Ps are off uh, 6. We're going to be right back. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investments Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results, unless you use the power of leverage. The power of leverage, folks, is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks. Something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. 
Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighted that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. TFNN introduces Tiger TV. Tiger TV brings you video content to help you succeed in the financial markets and beyond. Investors and traders can get in-depth information, news, commentary, and education for investing and trading equities, options, commodities, forex, futures, and more. Just go to TFNN.com and click Tiger TV and select your favorite channel from the carousel on the left. Grab a popcorn and get ready for Tiger TV, a great new service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, some of the uh, high-volume stocks we have out here today. Let's take a look at it. We have uh, Corning down uh, uh, 36 cents. You got uh, Advanced Micro up eight. We get Citigroup down 23. Microsoft's uh, down 10. Uh, Bank of America is up five. That stock is done. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, uh, and now he's basically taking the comp taking the company apart. Yeah, so and you can save three, you know, three million dollars at some point. In time. That's right. And what's going on, folks, uh, overseas? Now, if we go over to the Cat Corolla, what you're going to see is that inside there, inside their banking structure, Sock General also is getting taken apart. Uh, that was down 13% today. So check this out, folks. This stock was down 13%. So they turned around. Now, the stock has just gone from 50 euros down to 15 euros, okay? Mm -hmm. So you know what they had to do this morning? See, these banks are broke. So they come out this morning, and let's see, what are they selling? They're selling. They're going to push the sales of another $5 billion out. And their, their press release, oh, here, their press release says, don't worry. Don't worry, folks. We're going to sell half the company, and we're going to be okay. <laughs> so, Sock General, uh, third largest bank, uh, plans to free up four billion euros, five point four billion U.S. dollars in capital through disposal uh, of assets. Bottom line, folks. Okay, they're selling assets. Um, now, when a bank sells assets, yeah. they have a big problem because what happens is that they're ten to one leveraged already. So if they sell an asset, now they got to deleverage by 10 to 1. Okay, sure, so sure, it's, sure, it's, it's, sure. A, it's a death spiral, folks. That's the bottom line. You know? Absolutely. I, is, is it, it's, yeah, no, no, it is, yeah. You know, yeah, and in folks, case, if yeah. you're just, you know, yeah. depending where you are in your investment career, get your head wrapped around all of this because we're in a unique situation where you can learn so much. Oh, yeah. You know, about how companies operate, yeah. you know, how companies lie. <laughs> no, seriously. No, you know, no, it's, it's, it, great. it's great. And that's what I'm saying that in a great way, okay? Yeah. But the bottom line is that you got to understand that the, the foundation out there is is bad. It's not good. Yeah. Well, look, there, there's no question that, that the real truth ends up being really in what we're looking at on the charts. Yeah. Because when you can Where's really just money? follow the money. Follow that's right. the money, honey. Follow, that's right. Follow the money, honey. You know, when you see what's going on, that's, that's really all that you, you know, it, it actually is, you know, follow the charts, watch the charts, and then the stories are just amusing. If you do it yeah, that way, yeah. because what happens is most folks are watching the news, right. maybe, and then coming back and taking a look at the charts. That's I right. really think you flip it around. That's right. Because that's when you really start to, you know, take control. And you know and what feel, the stories really you know? get amusing, folks? They really get amusing at the euphoria and the fear. The euphoria, when it's the euphoria, I say, oh, thank you, God, let me sell this baby. And yeah. when the fear is in there, let me buy it. And you know what really flips people out? I'm telling you. <laughs> what really flips people out is like, well, I can't believe that O'Brien's buying. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And all the bulls, they're running. <laughs> and we're taking all their money. <laughs> it's wicked. Let's go to oh, Mike in Toronto. Funny. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yes, good morning there, Tom. How are you today? It's going great. You having a good day up there? I'm um, okay. You're okay. you got to be yeah, better okay. than okay, yeah, man. Okay. Um, yeah, could you look at panel, P-A-N-L? P-A-N-L. Yeah, I need your opinion. Do you think this is the next Qualcomm? The next Qualcomm. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, and the way you do that is by looking at the charts of Qualcomm between 1995 and 2004 versus panel between 2003 and today. Okay, so first let me see what this company does. So they, as a member of the United States Display Consortium... Yeah, they, they don't manufacture anything. They just license products. They're known as the IP model, whereby the company creates a portfolio of patents and layers and patents on their use. Yeah, they lose money hand over fist, so 
I have a hard time, without even looking at a chart, getting it to Qualcomm. You know they lose money hand over fist, right? This company? Okay. No, did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, 44 cents a share, so that means they're going to lose 20 million. But let's look at the chart. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we bring this back. We'll put it on 08, kind of weekly. 03. 03, you want? Okay. Okay, we'll put it on a monthly. <laughs> look at that. Oh, man, that's parabolic. Okay, so you have a, you have a great base that's built, no that's doubt, right, from, from zero one one right. going all the way up. The stock goes parabolic. And that's always a problem, man. You know, when a stock goes from 11 bucks to $70 and uh, $63 and we're not stopping, you can see then it crashed from, what, 63 back down to 22. Now, I can see what you're looking at here. This is strong, meaning mm -hmm. that, you know, what happens, folks, is that it came off August of 22 bucks, goes to 54. And, okay, so now we bring this back down. Well, I, you know, what to do here, I, I'd be waiting to see how it comes back into this uh, $35 to 28 bucks, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, could you compare that chart to Qualcomm? Sure. Between okay. 1995 and 2004. Okay, 1995 and 2004, okay. The IPO had an initial dip, then there was an ABC rally. Yeah, I, listen, I, I, you know, you give me a great time to do it because I traded Qualcomm thousands and thousands of times, so yeah. that's, that's it. Okay, so you have, well, uh, what he's looking at is that, uh, yeah, I see what you're looking at. What he's looking at specifically, folks, is that you had the base that was built out, $3 to $5, Qualcomm spikes to $98. Yeah, in 1999, the company begins to post earnings per share gains, okay? Yeah. And for panel begins posting earnings per share gains in 2010. Right. Now, your point is well taken here, Mike, but what, if, looking at this chart of Qualcomm, what would that tell you about panel? Uh, Come on, man. May have done a double top. No, this is easy, man. Well, not easy, but... Okay, Qualcomm peaked in 2000. Mm -hmm. It's it's 2011 now, right? Right. Okay. Panel maybe will peak in 2021. Maybe we'll. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? If okay, let's look at insider activity. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at what he wants to do. <laughs> oh, you're cracking me up, man. Well, you got access to Bloomberg. That's only $3,000 a month. We might as well use it, right? No, and what my point is no, no, we'll use it. What, what, what I'm saying is this. Is that the, the, the correlation, right, meaning that you want to look at the correlation. And all I'm explaining is that, well, if you want to compare it to Qualcomm, panel never has to go back to the top for another 10 years. But now let's, let's bring, it, bring, bring it up. And I'm saying this in a great way, man. But, see, I understand. I've been doing this so long that I've, I've done every single thought process in my mind, Mike. That, and I've done thought processes like you have just done there. I said, oh, i got to go somewhere else. You just stay there, though. We'll bring up the inside of the trading and uh, and they're selling. I'm bringing it up quick. They're selling, man. So <laughs> you stay right there. We're gonna be coming right back. If you're in the market for a jumbo preferred non-conforming loan anywhere from 417,000 all the way up to 3 million, and you have a FICO of at least 720, then EverBank is your answer. As a direct lender with processing, underwriting, and funding all under one roof, EverBank can offer the most competitive rates, greater efficiency, and shorter closing times. Now is the time to act. EverBank offers fixed terms of 10 and 15 years, as well as adjustable terms of 5, 7, and 10 years, including interest-only options on primary residences. For more information, call EverBank today at 877-471-471. 5970 to talk with a member of their concierge team that will walk you through the variety of loans they offer. That's 877-471-5970 and let them know you heard this offer on TFNN. Everbank, 877-471-5970, 877-471-5970. Are you looking for...
for some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. My new book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, is for sale at Amazon.com for only $18.40. Welcome back, folks. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. And don't forget, folks, uh, coming uh, right up next at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we got our man Basil Chapman uh, coming from Newton, Massachusetts. Then we're going to Tucson, Arizona. Uh, Larry Pesavento, 12 to 1, uh, right back to Tampa, David White, 3 to 4, and I will bring it on home from 4 to 6. We're talking with Mike from Toronto right now, and we're talking about uh, Universal Display Corporation, which under the symbol P-A-N-L. So, Mike, when we, uh, well, also what's happening here is that, and I'm sure you understand this, okay, but the, the, the difference between uh, a Universal, they only take in $11 million per quarter. Uh, where, you know, when we when you basically take a look at uh, uh, Qualcomm, right. they take in $3.6 billion a quarter. So, mm -hmm. um, And uh, inside of selling, they're, they're selling. Everybody? Uh, not everyone. Um, you Are we looking at huge blocks? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you can pull it right up on the SEC. I mean, you, you get... Uh, they're, they're not huge blocks. They're... Let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't say to me one way or the other what's going on, really. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Um, okay, so what's your opinion? Buy, sell, or hold? Are you in panel? No, no, I'm not. I just want, I, I have no idea how to tackle this company, the, the chart. The chart has just gone parabolic here. Oh, I think you just got to no wait. no idea to how to approach it. Yeah, but t t uh, you just got to wait to see how it comes back to that breakout area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that 20, 20, that's easy one. 28 bucks, Mike. $28? You got it. And a tight stop? First, you got to let it get out of $28. I almost feel like this is a pump and dump or something. I mean, okay. 
You know, the way you're acting, man, is blowing my mind, okay? Yeah. You're at 52 bucks, okay? Right. The, the bottom line is that, you know, the stock loses money, okay? It's already went parabolic. Mm -hmm. Let it come down to 28 bucks. If you have light of volume, great. If not, see ya. Don't want to be Okay, it. thank you very much. Have a great one. Have a Bye -bye. safe one. You know, you know it's amazing. So, so check, I have a look at this. Folks, you've got to wrap your head around something here for a second. You get a stock that's taking in $11 million with a market cap of $2.3 billion. Okay? Folks, that is absolutely insane. Yeah. Okay? Yes. You know, that, that's like, that's sick. Just, the, you know, there's certain things, folks, that you can do that without even looking at a chart, okay? Yeah. That, you know, just make common sense, okay? And something like that is, you know, to me, you know, we'll see how it comes back to 28 bucks, but it looks to me like there's something that, you know, is wrong inside that whole sure, deal. Sure, sure, 2. sure. 2.3 billion. You know what it reminds me of, particularly, it, it, you know, the, uh, yet another one, uh, OIL, oil. I mean, the, you see, some of these turn into personalities, right? Yeah. They, they get a, a, a cult going, they try to pump it, and they'll pump it on a continual basis, and then everyone else gets uh, stuck holding the, 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 you know, the bag, man. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> oh, man. So, hey, listen, folks, this is going to be fun out here today. Uh, bottom line is that the volatility is still in there. Absolutely. Um, and that's, that's what we want, man. Yeah. You know, that's the bottom line. You want a test, a test, and another test. And that's what it's going to do. Yeah. It, no, it is. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, what, what, you, what you do want to see uh, is that if we just do the cues quickly here, so the cues are coming in for a test, and it's got to be really hard to break them. The reason being Absolutely. is that the first 10-minute bar, folks, is uh, 3.3 million, and the, we come in with 1.4, but it, it'll come into it, and uh, that's, a, that's what makes uh, life uh, a beautiful thing. There's no doubt about it, man. So we got Monday Night Football tonight. Yes, we do. The, I don't, who's the playing? Patriots. Oh, the okay. Pa the oh, Patriots good. in Miami, okay. folks. The Patriots in Miami. Yeah, we get some action out here, no doubt is about it, it. Is it a home game? For I'm not sure. I, uh, it, I, I gotta find out. I'm, I don't know. All those Tigers, someone's gotta know. I don't know what, what's home anymore for me. <laughs> the Red Sox. Yeah, no, the Red it's still Sox, Boston. It's still Boston. The Red Sox got killed over the weekend. And, until you lose this accent, I'm, I'm losing, which will never happen. It's the Boston. Games, the game's in Miami. Okay. I'm losing my bet between for the Red Sox. You stay right there, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Larry Pesavento, David. We really do appreciate being here, folks. See you tomorrow, folks.